good Saturday morning, my friends. It is Saturday morning. Thank God it was a long week. Although I'm not refreshed, I did not sleep at all last night. I think I was literally up all night long. Just had a lot on my mind and between the dog snoring and Doug snoring, it was a rough night. So I've been up for a long time. Um, got my house clean, got the chickens taken care of. Now I'm starting on breakfast. And then I need to get this done and get out the door. I need to go to the produce place. I tried to do an online produce order from Orto Direct, but they weren't gonna be able to deliver until like next week. Um, and that wasn't gonna work for me. So I'm gonna actually have to go out. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go to the big produce place and get what I need. So we are today, my niece and my sister-in-law are coming over and we're gonna make the lumpy this afternoon. So I need to go get cabbage. Um, I think, and the fruit bowl's looking a little sad too. So I think I'll grab some fruit and veggies and that's about it. Um, making eggs and an English muffin and bacon for Doug for breakfast and an egg and toast and bacon for me for breakfast. And that's about it. Doug's piddling around doing some things. One of the babies pulled the toilet paper holder out of the wall. So Doug's fixing that and that involves, you know, re-drywalling and stuff. So not an easy fix. And there's a little piece of trim in the kitchen that's loose. He's gonna fix that for me, so. And then probably while we're making galumkis, he will probably be doing homework, is my guess. I'm not sure, but whatever happens, I will definitely bring you along. But right now, I got to go flip this bacon over. Okay, breakfast for me this morning is three points worth of bacon, zero points for my eggs, and four points for my toast. So I have a seven-point breakfast this morning. A little high for me, but it's what I felt like. So that is breakfast. Wanted to take you into the produce store with me because it is a really, really big produce place and they've got everything you can possibly imagine. And I forgot because I was just in a hurry. I told you I'm a bad vlogger. Um, now I am home and getting ready for my niece and my sister-in-law to come over. I already um, have, I I've tried to get things started a little bit. I've got the cabbage steaming so we can pull the leaves off and I've got the sauce going and all that. So, oh, my sister-in-law's here now and my niece is on her way. We are in full swing. We've got it going. We've got the pat, the, not pattern down. What am I, what's routine. the word I'm looking for? The, the routine. The routine down. We've got the leaves being cut. We've got them being stuffed, rolled. If you want a full tutorial on this, I'll link it up in the i cards and down below my niece the one in the blue over there and i did a whole video on it about two years ago it was one of my very first videos it doesn't even have a thumbnail <laughs> that's how old the video is so we have that pot almost full and then we have one on the stove that's already started to cook so Many hands make light work. Okay, everybody's gone. We had two big pots of stuffed cabbage. It is absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Delicious? Yum, yum. Because we tasted it. Um, now, we were supposed to go to my brother's for pinochle tonight, and Mary was going to do a spaghetti dinner, but we're going to do here, and we're going to have galumpke instead, so... Um, so now, like I said, everybody's gone and we switched gears. I am cleaning green beans to steam in the instant pot to go with dinner. Doug is peeling apples, peeling apples to go in the crock pot for us to take tomorrow night for dinner at my friend Suzanne's house. Um, I'm going to take dessert. I'm taking, we're making, what did I call them? Apple pie sundaes. I made a batch of ice cream this afternoon and I'm gonna make crock pot apples and we're gonna put the warm apples over the ice cream, drizzle with a little caramel and then top with some crushed up graham crackers. Well, they will. Suzanne and I, 
we'll probably just have apples because <laughs> it'll be zero points for us and it'll still be delicious. Um, and I have to peel potatoes and get mashed potatoes made. And it is five o'clock. So I've got about an, a little less than an hour to get it all done. I'll do it. Right? We'll do it. Yep. And you still have to shower. I still have to shower. And I have to get my pajamas on because that's a rule. Right? We always play pajama, or pinochle and pajamas. Yep. We always play pinochle and pajamas. Pass. Douglas? I'll be 34. 40. <laughs> you know he's not going to let you have it. I know. He'd rather go up than let you have the bid. That's okay. Done that before. True. Not the first time. Were you selfish in your bid? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep your mouth shut, can you? I'm just picking up the camera. I was going to vlog in the car on the way to church. I was gonna vlog in the car on the way home from church. Yeah, I didn't do any of it. I got home and I had to quickly make a batch of ice cream to get to take tonight to our friends for dinner. So I got that done. I got a video filmed and uploaded. Um, you probably already saw that. A little tough love video. Um, what else? Got the kitchen, all the dishes put away from last night. I had just let them air dry last night. I was too tired to put them away. And now I am just, we have to, it's one o'clock. Um, you saw my breakfast. It's one o'clock. We have to go to our friends at 3.30. Um, so I have the crock pot apples. We're having apple pie sundaes for dessert well they'll all have them suzanne and i will probably just have apples so i'm going to serve them a scoop of ice cream with the apples on top of it a little bit of caramel sauce which i'm getting ready to make right now i'm going to make that put it in a jar and take that with us i'm going to make a little bit of whipped cream take that with us and i'm going to crush up some graham crackers to sprinkle on top so i think it'll be a good dessert and suzanne and i can just have the apples and like maybe like a half a teaspoon of caramel sauce and a little bit of graham cracker and it'll be delicious for us and it'll be a lot lower in points. Um, maybe a tablespoon of ice cream, we'll see, just to kind of bring it all together. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, I'm not gonna eat lunch today because I'm still full from my breakfast at church and then I know we'll be having a great dinner. And we're eating dinner early. We have to eat dinner early because Father Ramos has something to do tonight. So we have a shortened window visit time with him. So we're gonna enjoy that time together. We're gonna enjoy the friendship and the fellowship and of course the food too, but that would be the least amount of focus will be the food. Um, just being together will be the biggest part of the focus for me. It's not easy, but that's what you do. So I'm going to get this caramel sauce made. I'm not going to show you because it's nowhere near WW friendly. Um, and then get changed. Still in my church clothes. So I want to get changed and get ready to go this afternoon. So I found a recipe for a buttermilk salad dressing in one of the taste, light and tasty books that I got. And it looked really good. And it's super duper low in personal points. I think for me, for one tablespoon, it's zero points. Um, it's a buttermilk ranch and it uses cottage cheese. So we're getting a lot of protein in there too. I figured I'm going to make it to take with me to Suzanne's today because I know she's serving a salad. So I thought I'd show you. Never made it before. So let's do this together. Okay, so in my blender, I have two cups of the Daisy... 2% milk fat cottage cheese. That's my favorite. And then I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of 1% buttermilk. This is the buttermilk that we had left over from the butter that Andrew made a couple weeks ago that I froze. And then some of my ranch dressing mix that I, I think that same weekend I made it. Um, I'm going to start with a tablespoon. Really not sure how much I'm going to need because this calls for one envelope. So we'll try it, we'll start with a tablespoon and then I'm just gonna process it 
in the blender. Okay, we tasted it. It's very good, but I think it needs a little more ranch and Doug agreed. So I'm just gonna add a half a tablespoon and process it a little bit longer. Okay, here's the dressing. It made two and three quarter cups. We tasted it, it's very good. It's a little dry, if that makes sense that salad dressing can be dry. And I think that's from the cottage cheese. So for me, on my personal points, I do not get cottage cheese as a zero point food. And I think only if you use fat free, it's zero points. And this is the 2%. So for me, one tablespoon is zero points. Anywhere from two to five tablespoons is only one point. It's a lot of dressing for um, one point. So this, you know, depending, I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it sit and uh, let the flavors melt for an hour. I'll give it a real good taste this afternoon on my salad. I'm going to taste it on some veggies. This may replace my other salad dressing because it's lower in points. And with the cottage cheese, it's really packed with protein in there. So... I'm excited about that. So I'll report back and let you know how it is. Hostess with the mostess. This is my friend Suzanne, who I've been talking about for a couple days. Hey, She's a Weight Watcher too. Yay! Which is good for me because we have whole wheat pasta and we have air fried chicken and salad. And salad. So yeah, she hooked the girl up. Okay, who wants wine? Uh, I'm good for you. I have to try some. Okay. Well, friends, we are home. We had such a great time tonight. It was such a lovely evening. It was so sad to say goodbye to Father Ramos. Oh, it was so sad. We're going to miss him very much. Um, but we're excited for his life back in the Philippines. Um, he said he'll be back, so that's good. We are jammed up. We are going to watch one episode of The Chosen and we've been getting through that. We just started watching it a couple weeks ago. Um, all the episodes are on because we're way behind, but we just try to watch one every Sunday night. Um, we'll see if I can even stay awake for one episode. <laughs> and then we are hitting the sack because it is going to be a super busy week for us. So thank you so much for spending the weekend with us and yada, yada, yada. See you in my next video.